Hey fish heads, good morning. It's Jen Kravasi, Jekyll Bates with your workshop update of the week. Um, I wanted to start out over here at Spray Bench. I know I haven't done one of these in a little while, so we do have spray sessions coming. We've got more updates coming. We've got a whole lot going on. You'll have to forgive me. I'm in the process of getting new lighting. This lighting sucks. Um, it blanks on and off. Yesterday we had some sort of weird strobe effect coming out of it, and sometimes it just doesn't do on and off. So in order to like participate and interact with you guys on a, on a real live time basis, I need better lighting in here. So it's coming. It should be here tomorrow. Um, this is going in the trash like as quick as possible because trash day comes Thursday. But I wanted to take a couple of minutes and go through some stuff that's going on here at the bait shop. And these are going to go right back on the clear coat rack because they're not quite done yet. They're hard enough to show, but they are not 100% dry. They're still a little bit tacky. Love these red, rusty colors, especially this time of the year. Seems like everything kind of takes on that red hue. These are evergreens. These are the shower blows. This is the real deal. This is not an imposter. These are repaints for a client, actually a couple of clients. I guess everywhere in the land is out of the bone. So um, these came in as, shoot, what were they? Black bone, which is like a herringbone pattern. It's got that little, um, little spine pattern down it. So it came in that way. And then the others came in as mirror wakasagis. So they looked nothing like this when we started out. But because the bone is killer this time of year all over the country, because it imitates that dying shad, um, this is what my customer requested. So the eyes are original. They are evergreen. And evergreen, I believe, is Daiwa. If that's incorrect, then by all means, please correct me. But I know at one point, if not still, they're produced in Japan, really good baits. They're not cheap, they're about 22 bucks. This is the 150 size, so it's pretty big. Top water floater, really good. Knockers in it. And then for the other patterns, we have a shad. This is like the gizzard shad pattern. And this is a completely unique customer requested pattern. Got a little bit of blush. Now this red eye I'm not fond of. I would like to have changed that out. But unfortunately, or fortunately, Evergreen does such a dandy job putting their eyes in and gluing them down that it would have destroyed all of the eye socket around it. So we didn't want to do that. We just want to make sure the customer gets the best product that they can. Now on the 150, I love the eyes in this one. That Wakasagi pattern was perfect for this particular pattern. So we kept it real light on top. It's a gold dust. It's over top of a, like a burnt sienna. And then we put that little flat fin on the side. Just a little bit of dust on that face. And then a white, creamy white all over the body. So those are your evergreens. And yes, I do pro line repaints. Just ask me. We're going to put these back on the clear coat rack so that they can continue to do their thing and get all groovy so that we can ship them out tomorrow. Now we've got a couple more to get through this morning, so bear with me while I put these back on the clear coat rack. Lazy. Silly puppy sleeping. Can you blame her? No. It's a beautiful day though. All right, we have a couple of really cool lipless going out. Let's see if we can get the camera to refocus. Again, fun, fun patterns. And my apologies, there's that focus. There you go. Almost looks like snakeskin when you do it like this. It's just so cool, love this technique. Pretty much all it is is that uh, Doris mesh and then you angle your bait down and spray across the side and not directly onto the bait. When you put your initial layers down, you wanna spray onto the bait 
but when you do the layering, you spray across the bait like that. Got two of those going out. Eddie, they'll be on their way this morning. And, you know, I'm human. That's all I can say is that I am human. So these were ordered by a customer um, a couple of weeks ago. Okay, maybe last month. Um, it's October. They were ordered early September. And uh, for some reason, I don't know what happened. I usually hang all of my invoices up over there, as you guys can see, when I'm doing it. And for some reason, um, this didn't show up. And I apologize for that. Gilly gilly. But they're coming to you tomorrow. These are going to get dressed up today. I love these. I love these eyes. These are killer, killer eyes. Really make that fire shad pop. And then we've got the zebra striping with red eyes. And that crackle tiger pattern. Very subtle, but a very loud bait. Super fluorescent. And then we have a uh, variety of shad. Everything from the wake bait to the Dinger Aruku lipless. Fantastic bait this time of year. It's got a little bit of blue and purple pop in it. Just a good, good all round fish catching machine in this pattern this time of year. And folks, that's pretty much it. We've got a lot going on. I promise to get you guys another update. As soon as the lighting gets here, we're going to do that mouse video for you guys, which I'm really excited to, uh, to bring to you guys. Now, again, I'm not the mouse master. There are many, many, many painters that are better at it than me, but I'm going to show you how I do it. Have a great rest of your week. You should be getting that video by Friday, I'm hoping. The light should be here. Today is, what is today? Tuesday, so the light should be here by Wednesday. Um, and that's it. Leave questions, comments down below. Um, smash that thumbs up button if you uh, like the video, like uh, the kind of content that I'm putting out. Give me ideas, suggestions for patterns that you want to see sprayed. And uh, if you really, really like what I'm doing and you want to contribute to me being able to teach you guys, hit that Patreon link. Thanks so much and have a great day.